If you're focusing on all of the input and your input is just negative, 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 the output of the way that you think and the way that you feel all day long is going to be negative. That's just a fact. Welcome to today's episode of the Mindset Mentor Podcast. I'm your host, Rob Dial. And today we're going to be talking about how to stay out of negativity and how to get into positivity based off of the things that you're doing, thinking, and obviously the information that you're consuming. Uh, So if you were listening to last episode that I put out, where I talk about the world is feeling really heavy right now, that to me is very obvious. And, you know, how do we, if we feel these heavy thoughts, how do we lighten the load so that we feel better? Because ultimately, we don't want to stay feeling heavy or depressed or sad all day long. We want to try to lighten the load and make ourselves feel better so that we can go out there and serve the world at a higher, you know, with our higher purpose that we truly want to go after. And it comes down to what you focus on. And if you've been listening to me for a while, you've heard me talk about what you focus on matters. You can't, uh, I always can say that the, the mind is like a garden. You can't go into a garden and plant strawberry seeds and expect that somehow tomatoes are going to grow. The same way that you can't focus on negativity and all of the negative stuff happening all day, every day, and just expect that you're going to feel positive. If you just focus on the negativity, you're never going to feel positive. It's negative seeds that go into your mind are going to obviously create negative trees. Negative plants is a way of thinking of it. Now, let me be very clear though. Uh, What I am not saying is not to be informed. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying be completely ignorant and naive to what's happening in the world um, and not pay attention to it. That That is not what I'm saying. That's the exact opposite of what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is to be very, very clear of to what you do want to consume So your mind, you know, consume, whether you see, whether you talk about something, whether you hear something, what you're consuming into your mind so that therefore you can have the output that you really want. So the input is going to create the output. If you're focusing on all of the input and your input is just negative, 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 the output of the way that you think and the way that you feel all day long is going to be negative. That's just a fact. And so I'm going to give you a couple of tips and we're going to talk about some things that you should really think about and be very clear of. The first thing, if I'm going to give you a really big tip, try to stay off of social media as much as possible right now. Um, And I don't mean, once again, don't be informed. If you need to be informed through social media, please do. But don't accidentally end up on, you know, Nancy's Facebook and she's just talking a whole bunch of crap and reading through all of that crap and then reading through all of her comments and people back and forth and yelling at each other makes you feel like crap. Uh, If you feel that way, then I don't want you to go onto Nancy's Facebook or accidentally see her posts. Uh, One thing that I will 100% recommend for you is that you know exactly what you want to be on. If you're going to be on social media, you're going to go to exactly whatever it is that you want versus just scrolling through and seeing number one, what people are posting, but number two, the comments. Stay away from the comments because that's just where you really start to feel bad. We start seeing people say stuff and the things that they're saying and the, you know, how ignorant and naive some people can be. And then you just start thinking about it all day. I spent literally the other morning, like five minutes on social media and I felt like crap for like the next two or three hours. And I was like, man, I need to be really cognizant of what I'm doing on social media and be very diligent that if I'm going to be on it, I'm not just scrolling and accidentally coming across people's stuff that are just ignorant in some ways, you know, ignorant and naive because some people just can't see other people's sides of the story. They have their own opinion, they stick to it, and then they won't see life from other people's viewpoints, you know? And so if you're going to be on social media, try to stay on social media Um, the way that you want to be on it versus just accidentally coming across stuff. (laughs) And and please don't look in the comment section. That's where you don't want to. I've never seen somebody be like, you know what? I'm really glad that I read through all of those comments. Or I'm really glad I'm I'm glad I got into that bickering match on somebody's Facebook post. Please don't do that. So the first thing is stay away from social media as much as you possibly can. Second thing, try to stay away from the news as much as you possibly can. Because here's the thing that I do know is that the news sensationalizes evil. It makes, takes all of the evil and all of the bad and it puts it out there. And the reason why is because the human mind concentrates on negative. And they know, and the re, let me just talk to you real quick about why the human mind concentrates on negative. The reason why is because if you go back hundreds of thousands of years, 20, 40, 50,000 years, when we were hunters and gatherers, we had to remember the negative things. We had to remember where our friend was killed by a lion. So therefore, we wouldn't go past that place again. 
we had to know, you know, what type of berries our friend John ate. You know, I'm sure there wasn't a guy named John 50,000 years ago, but we had to remember what berries he ate so that therefore we didn't remember it again. So we needed to remember the negative because the negative staying, thinking about it kept us alive. But nowadays it's, it just makes you feel bad. You know, you don't have to worry about being attacked by a saber tooth tiger or by eating the wrong berries from Whole Foods. So therefore, obviously, when, when the news knows this is how human psychology works, they're going to put out the negative because then you're going to watch the negative because you need to focus on it. That animalistic part of your brain wants to focus on the negative, And so they always put out the negative. The more people that watch, the more money that they make off of their ads. In the, that's the way that they make their money. Off of all of the ads, everything that they put out there. So the news will concentrate and sensationalize the bad and the evil. So if you want to feel better, stay away from the news. That's a, a huge tip I'm going to give you. Um, another thing I'll tell you as well, stay away from negative people. Like if you know that your uncle Sam is, that's funny that I use that uncle Sam. If you know that your uncle Sam is the guy who loves to talk about the negative or about the conspiracy theories, or he's a big supporter of someone that you're not a supporter of. And every time you talk to him, you feel like shit then don't talk to him. Stay away from him. I'm not saying you got to kick him out of the family if you love him, but there are just some people in your life that you should probably spend a little bit less time with because it makes you feel better when you're not around them. So if you're around somebody that makes you feel bad after you're done with them, after you're done hanging out with them, you don't want to be around them anymore. So why don't you just try to stay away from people like that as much as possible? And what you're really trying to do is you're trying to create your own bubble. And in this bubble, you are in control of all of the stuff that comes into your mind. Everything that you see, hear, feel, every single aspect of your life. You're creating your own bubble for you to go out and be the best version of yourself. Because if you're the best version of yourself, you're going to be able to create a better environment and be able to impact the world and other people around you as well. So create your own little bubble. So, you know, what are you listening to? Are you happening to listen to, you know, positive podcasts like this and, you know, going on to YouTube and listening to things that are positive and, you know, having conversations and who are you hanging out with? Who are you listening to? So who are you listening to on the internet, on TV, through everything that you listen, but also who are you hanging out with that you're also listening to? Because every single person, whether you're physically in front of them or they're just talking to you and you're listening to them or you're listening to a conversation will dictate the way that you actually feel. For instance, I know that we've all listened to something, maybe it popped up on the news, maybe it popped up on a podcast, I don't know, and you listen to it and it makes you feel worse hearing about it, right? But then you've also listened to something before where you listen to it and when it gets done, you're like, man, I'm fired up. I feel good about myself. I want to go out and do some good in the world. I want to go out and do something with my life. Wouldn't you rather feel the second way, excited, fired up, wanting to go out and do something with your life versus hearing something and it bringing you down? That's just by what you're hearing. So what are you listening to? Who are you listening to? You know, another thing is, what are you watching? Are you watching, you know, all of the stuff and reading all the stuff in the comments and the news feeds and all of those things? Or are you taking time going onto YouTube and focusing on things that you know you will feel better after listening to them or you'll feel more excited or you feel more educated or you're learning? The great thing about being alive right now is that there is so much information at your fingertips in this very second. You can literally pick up your phone and learn anything that you want to right now. So why don't you go and actually be in charge of the things that you're learning every single day? What are you reading? Are you reading through the newspapers? Are you reading through the comments? Or are you sitting down with a book that you want to read and you're, you're actually being very diligent on, you know what, I do want to read this book. I do want to read a book that's going to make me feel better and I'm going to feel like I learned something. And I'm actually progressing and I'm taking my mind to the mental gym so that therefore when I'm done, I'm stronger mentally and I'm able to go conquer the world and help everyone around me and help my community. You know, so what are you listening to? Who are you hanging out with? What are you watching? What are you reading? Once again, I want to be very clear. I'm not saying don't be uninformed. I'm just saying make sure that you're not conforming. So don't be uninformed, but don't conform to other people in what they want from you. 
Make sure that you're creating your own bubble of what you want to learn, of what you want to be a part of, of what you believe in. And whatever you feel from your heart is what you're supposed to be doing, is what you're supposed to be doing. So how often are you listening to, is this this what I'm supposed to be doing right now? Or could I be doing something better for myself? Could I be learning something better for myself? Once again, not saying don't be informed. 100% be informed. But make sure that you're very diligent of creating the bubble that fosters the mindset, the life, the reality that you want to create. And as I said in the last episode, the world needs leaders so much right now. So what I want you to think about is what I'm watching, listening to, reading, who I'm hanging out with. Are they creating me into being the leader that I want to be or are they holding me back and making me stay in the same place because of fear all of the fear mongering that's out there or because I don't feel motivated when I read through the comment section because the better that you are, the better that you will be able to go out and serve the world. That's the most important thing. The one thing that I know about humans, I've worked with tens of thousands of humans over the years, is that we feel the best. We feel the most alive when we are impacting other people's hearts, when we're impacting other people, we're looking at somebody and no matter how much, you don't have to go out and impact millions of people's lives. But if you go out and impact one person's life today or tomorrow or this week, you are making a difference. You are making a change but you can't give away what you don't have. If you have a cup that's not filled up, you can't help somebody else. So you've got to fill your, your, your cup up first. And I want you to do this. I have an assignment for you. If you're up to it, I want you to take a pen and paper and ask yourself three questions, three questions, three simple, simple questions. And I learned this from P Diddy way back in the day when he used to have a TV show that was called, uh, what was it called? Making a band. And he did this thing called Stop, Start, Continue. And I started doing this years ago, like 14 years ago when I was running teams. And I would have my team come together and we would go over this. And Stop, Start, Continue is three simple questions. And I want you to write them down and answer them and ask yourself how you can take these three simple questions and put them into your life and implement whatever you get from answers that you're about to answer here. So number one is what do I need to stop doing? After listening to this episode, what do I need to stop doing? Maybe I need to stop scrolling through my Facebook newsfeed and looking at all of the people yelling at each other and bashing each other and not listening to each other and throwing out their opinions in the comments. What do I need to stop doing? Make a list of things you need to stop doing. Second thing, what do I need to start doing? You know what I need to start doing? I need to start replacing my social media time with reading a really good book that I've been wanting to read. That's what I need to start doing. And what do I need to continue doing? I've been doing a really good job at waking up in the morning and going through my morning routine and focusing on my meditation. I need to continue with my meditation because it helps me start the day off right. So what do I need to stop doing? What do I need to start doing? And what do I need to continue doing? And you take the answers to those three questions and all you do is you look at your schedule and say, okay, where can I start doing this? Where can I take out these things I need to stop doing? And where can I make sure I continue doing these things? Life is not that hard. It's actually very simple. We make it much more complicated than it needs to be. So think about that. What do I need to stop doing? What do I need to start doing? And what do I need to continue doing? Because ultimately, if you're listening to this or if you're watching this, however you're consuming this right here, you're a leader in the world. You're listening to this because you're a leader in some capacity. I want to help you Become the leader that you deserve to be and that the world needs. And in order to do that, you need to be very, very clear on what you need to stop doing, what you need to start doing, what you need to continue doing, and work on creating yourself to be the best that you possibly can be. Because once again, the better that you are, the better that you can serve the world. So that's what I got for you for today's episode. If you love this episode, please share with someone that you know and love. Please go ahead and tag us on your Instagram. Put this in your stories. Tag me in it, Rob Dial Jr., R-O-B-D-I-A-L-J-R. I'll go ahead and reshare them as they come in. And I'm going to leave you the same way I leave you every single episode. Make it your mission. Make someone else's day better. I appreciate you. I love you all. And I hope you have an amazing day.